So when you look at this picture, of course you realize that people around you are, they are the problem, right? So from my experience, sometimes some of the, some of the misunderstandings in professional settings, but even in private life, uh, happen because different identities clash. Someone might have issue with Slovaks. Someone might have issue with introverts or extroverts. Someone might have an issue with people who are on the spectrum, right? So that happens, but most of the time, most of the misunderstandings and clashes in professional settings happen because of the behavioral differences, not because of differences in identities. So let me give you an example. We all know, matter where we work, we communicate, right? We, we want to bring the message across. But the way we communicate is very different. For someone, it might feel very natural and effective to be straightforward in the way I communicate. So what's on my mind, I say it as it is. Crystal clear, very direct, no messaging between the lines, just straight to the point. And these people, they believe that this is very effective because I'm saving your time, I go straight to the point, and so on. On the other hand, you have people who prefer very indirect communication styles, such as myself, right? So I prefer very nuanced communication, very soft, soft language, very, let's say, diplomatic language, because I like to guide people to realize what I'm trying to tell them. I'm implying, I'm imposing messages, hoping that you are mature enough to decode what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and on the top, I want to make sure that instead of talking about the key points or using the bullet points only, I want to put those bullet points in wider context. Direct communicators, they would go directly to the point and highlight the key messages. They would say, today I'm going to talk about one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And they focus their communication on those key messages. Indirect communicator is someone who would keep those bullet points, those key messages in wider context. Now, this is the reason why we develop preference for either or, or for both. It's not that there are only two styles, direct or indirect, there's a whole spectrum in between. So, this is the explanation why some of us prefer to communicate directly and some of us don't. So, if my preferred communication style is indirect style of uh, conversation, it's connected to my uh, geographic location. I come from a place where indirect communication is appreciated. Speaking in bullet points is not complete, it's not enough. We need wider context. Also, I lived in a regime, as I told you, and we learned how to use coded language. We had to hide messages in between the lines. 